Hi everyone, this is Cheryl the Craftnet32, and today I'm here to share with you a small collective haul. Um, after the Christmas holidays, my husband surprised me with some Spectrum Nora pens, and I love them. And my initial instinct was to go out and buy everything, just to go nuts. So, no, hang on, sweetie. Um, my son's down here wanting to watch a video. Um, but we're going to get ready and go for a walk, so we don't have time for that today. But, um, anyways, back to my video. After Christmas, I just wanted to buy everything. And so, instead of doing that, what I did is I decided I wasn't going to buy anything until after Easter. Um, I'm always the kind of person, when I see something and I see beautiful projects created with it here on YouTube, I immediately need to go buy it. So, I, um, everything was new in terms of looking at stamps that I could use my markers with. And so I just wanted to slow down and make sure what I was buying are things that I really love and not just buying for the sakes of buying. So um, I do have a whole bunch of favorites that I hope to collect over the next little while. But it's been really fun actually being able to buy some stamps because I've been using my markers with stamps I find on Pinterest, which has been wonderful. Um, there are so many stamps to choose from that it really kind of made this whole time period of not buying anything really worthwhile. So Pinterest was just a great resource. I had several people suggest that um, and it's great. I've really kind of developed a whole account. Um, well not developing an account but I've developed a series of pages and everything like that and I just really been enjoying Pinterest. So um, I will put my description or my link to my page um, below for my digital stamps and I've collected quite a few that I'm happy with. So. It's been really nice and easy to make cards using my markers with those stamps, but um, I have found a couple of scrapbook stores that had carried some, uh, local scrapbook stores that had carried some stamps that I've been having my eye on, and so I purchased some. I haven't made any online orders yet, so I'm looking forward to doing that as well. And I just love these Sealed with a Loving Kiss from the Crafter's Companion. I love them. Um, they are so cute. So one of my local scrapbook stores well, local and that is in a city not too far from where I am, carried them. So I picked up this one and I've been coloring her and she's the reason, or she was the inspiration for my springtime card series. So I have her colored. Um, here's a sneak peek. I have her all colored up with some glitter, which is not going to show. <laughs> um, there is glitter on it. I've covered up my light on my camera because it was causing such a glare on my wrappers for the stamps. So I just covered it up. I should have just even turned it off. I guess that would have been easier, but I am really tired today, so <laughs> I'm not thinking so clearly. So these ones were your foam red one, or your rub red rubber stamps. So I also bought some easy mount foam. So I've cut them and I've mounted them already. And it's great. There were so many wonderful tips and tutorials here on YouTube. So I have done that one. I picked up this one, which I thought would be so sweet to send my niece and um, my sister, perhaps, my mom, over the summer. So there's that one. I also cut it and have it ready to go. And then at my last one, I thought this, was, would, this would be perfect for any woman. Um, all my friends have young children, not all of them, but the majority of them have young children, so this would just be perfect to send off in a cute card, just to let them know I'm thinking of them, and they are so sweet. I love them. Um, so that was it. I also, with that purchase, bought some smaller um, clear stamping blocks, and I also bought some stickles. I have it right over here. My first stickles purchase, some nice pink. It's really pretty, and I was really impressed. I've always kind of just stuck with the Studio G. I was impressed with how um, fine the tip was on the end. So lots of great control with that. So I was really, been really impressed with that. So I'll have to start maybe collecting the other colors. Um, then I went to my local scrapbook store this week, and I got some Lawn Fawn stamps. I love Lawn Fawn, and it was really hard like committing myself not to buy anything over the last three months um, just before Christmas or sorry just before Easter because CHA happened and everyone re released such cute stamps including Lawn Fawn so this is the one that I bought at my local scrapbook store yesterday and it's so cute it has the dies um, she didn't have the dies in stock so I just bought the stamp but I can always go back and get the dies later 
but it's so cute. So I'm going to be using this one also in my springtime card series. Really fun and cute. Looking forward to that. And I got a Happy Mother's Day stamp set. Stamp set. Loved it. So cute. And then last year for Mother's Day, I got a Smash, um, yeah, Smash book. So they, she had, um, Smash had, I don't know, little notepads. So, and it was really cute. Um, just things to prompt you with that you can journal and then you can glue them in. There's 30 different, there's 30 pieces. I don't know how many different, different pages, but I thought really cute. And I can also hand these to my sons and they can fill some out, maybe my husband. And then this really cute Amy Tangerine sketch journal. And I thought that's cute. I have little journals everywhere. And I really like this one because the it was grid paper on the inside, which is great because I am horrible at freehand drawing, so <laughs> it'd be nice if I wanted to do something to have some guidelines. Really cute. I loved it, so I'm going to tuck that. I'm not sure where I'm going to stick that. And then I stopped at Michael's, and they had their paper. They always have their paper, but they had released... Um, anyway, since the last time I was at the store, even in that aisle... Um, just a package of all pink, and so I really don't go through a lot of pink. The last time I bought pink was maybe two years ago, and it was in a big 12 by 12 pack, um, having mostly, having three boys and only one niece and mostly nephews that I don't really use a lot of pink, but I'm using it more lately than I have in the past. So I thought I would stock up on some pink, because right now I'm just down to scraps, and it's really been frustrating trying to get like a nice cut for flowers or just various different things out of what I had left over, so I got this. So, over the last, I say, week or so, these are the things that I have purchased. And it's been really fun. I finally have some stamps that I can use my markers with. And I love these. They have been really cute. And I'm really impressed with how big they are. I'm not sure if you can see that, but when I showed you the oval of the little girl with the umbrella, this oval was cut on my Cricut at four and a half, so really nice size to her. So really impressed with these stamps. And they're my first red rubber stamps, so they've been really nice and easy to stamp with. Anyways, so that's my haul and a little bit of chatting. Oops, my stickles are rolling away. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.